بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الإمام الهادي عليه السلام displayed a great care for his Shia for his followers and that is an important aspect brothers and sisters a man came to Imam al Hadi alayhi salam. Imam at that time, the day when this man came, was out of his house. He asked about the Imam. They told him, You'll find him in so and so place. So he went after the Imam. He told him, Yabna Rasulillah, I come to you from Kufa. I am one of the followers of your grandfather, Amir al Mu'mineen. Imam told him, Don't worry, we'll take care of it. I will teach you to do something, but you promise you do exactly as I tell you. He wrote with his own handwriting, I owe this man an amount of money and he wrote it down and he signed the paper. He said, tomorrow I will go back to Samarra. I want you to come to me at this particular time. When I arrive there, you come and you bring this paper, you present it to me. You will find me sitting with a group of people. You tell me, where is the money that you owe me? And be rough with me. Be rough. Look at the akhlaq of the Imam Salam Allah. He says, this is what I want you to do. Will you do it? He said, yes, inshallah. The Imam then the next day goes back. First day, this man stays with the Imam Salam Allah in that area outside of Samarra. The next day, the Imam goes back. When he goes back, some of the Khalifa, Al Mutawakkil, Al Abbasis, ministers, dignitaries, they come and they sit with the Imam. Alayhi. As they were all sitting down, who comes? This man comes. He brings the piece of paper and he tells the Imam, Where is the money you owe me? He showed some roughness with the Imam alayhi, as instructed. The Imam alayhi, told him, Give me three days. Give me three days and inshallah I'll have the money ready for you. Those dignitaries then took the news to Al Mutawakkil, the Khalifa. They told him a man came to Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam and this is what happened. So he said, then take 30,000 dirham and give it to him. Of course, these are some actions from Al Mutawakkil to try to kind of win the Imam over. He says, take the money and give it to the Imam. Of course, he doesn't call him Imam. They brought the money to the Imam. After three days, this man came back. He told him, Take all the 30,000, it's all yours. The man said, Yabna Rasulillah, I only need 10,000. It's more than enough to fulfill all my debts. He said, No, you take all the money, it's yours. Have it. This is how much care Al Imam Salamullahi Alayhi showed for his Shia, for his lovers, for his followers. This is at what length he went to help them out, even to tell them that be rough with me. How many of us would go to that length to help a mu'min? We may not need to go and tell the mu'min be rough with us. Sometimes all we need to do is help a mu'min with whatever ability we can. Here is the Imam Salamullah telling us, look, this man came, I told him be rough with me so that I can help him out. That's one lesson from the life of Al-Imam Al-Hadi, his care for his followers.